it would be very good if um, the fighting stopped and if a political settlement uh, could be reached. Um, but I think uh, we've had statements uh, from the Kremlin before which didn't check out. And also we have to remember that President Putin has proven to be a, an agile tactician, but he has underestimated the effect of the loss of confidence that we have uh, in his words. Do you trust Putin? I think it was Comrade Lenin who said trust and verify. In terms of where this is all taking place, it's in your neighbourhood. How worried are you about the extent of Putin's ambition? Does Poland feel threatened? Poland is indeed a neighbour of both Russia and Ukraine. Uh, and obviously when uh, neighbours quarrel, it's uh, of concern. We would uh, like the decolonization of the former Soviet Union to proceed more smoothly. It's very difficult for a former colonial power to acknowledge the existence and the right to existence of a former protégé. But the sooner it happens, the better for the citizens, uh, even of the um, a metrop a former metropolis, let alone the former colony. But it looks like an awful lot more than Putin having difficulty acknowledging the decolonization of the former Soviet Union. It looks like quite the reverse, that he's actually trying to extend his President power. Putin has indeed stated his aims rather frankly in his annexation speech um, of the Crimea. Uh, but it's so bold and so brazen that many in Europe um, still can't believe that it's for real. Do you believe it's for real? Oh, yes. NATO's proposals appear to be rapid response force of several thousand troops to protect Eastern Europe. Now, that potentially means NATO troops, Polish troops, in direct combat with Russian forces since the end, then the aftermath of the Second World War. Are you aware of the significance of that? What would that mean? Well, you have um, uh, NATO bases. You don't think they threaten anybody. Everybody understands that, it, that it's not strength that invites aggression. It's weakness that invites aggression, as the Ukrainians uh, are finding out to their cost. So NATO belatedly strengthening its eastern flank is um, at last beginning to level the uh, security across the NATO uh, treaty area uh, with the hope of, of preventing what you've just described. Minister, thank you very much. Thank indeed. you.